If you're curious about what kind of information Facebook shares with the government, I can tell you from first-hand knowledge because recently, this past year, the government investigated me, the state government, and Facebook gave their information, gave my information to them, I should say. And what information is that? First of all, my email address. Okay, that makes sense. They have it on file. They share it, all right? Secondly... They share your IP address, your internet protocol address, which if you're not using a VPN, will identify which computer, you know, your posts are coming from. So if you've ever signed in or logged in or whatever, or just, you know, went to Facebook, probably through their third party apps that are embedded on every website out there. If you've ever been signed into Facebook and didn't have a VPN on, Facebook has your IP address. Most people should probably know that, but it's important to note. The third thing, and this was interesting, because I have purchased Facebook ads and because I have uh, re received and sent money through Facebook, they also sent the zip code that's attached to my bank card, aka my, uh, my credit card. So yes, that information was shared with the state government. So, um, bottom line is, if you want to express yourself about the government, don't do it on social media. In fact, don't even give them a warning. Just show up to one of their events that they're having where there's going to be news cameras and express yourself there. You'll get a lot more attention that way. Trust me on that one. Um, my mistake was giving them a bit of information that was perceived as a threat. And I, say, I think that the only reason I wasn't arrested and charged was because I was correct about the information that I put out there about this government employee. And they didn't want to have that on record. They didn't want to have the news stations covering this information because they'll typically go after somebody who's not exactly the smartest person, maybe somebody who has drug convictions, maybe somebody who has all kinds of other charges. See, I have a clean record, number one. I have a college degree, number two. I'm very well spoken. I'm not afraid to defend myself in court. I've already done it before, uh, although I lost, but that's a whole other story. Uh, luckily, uh, the truth prevailed in that one, and the people who I had to oppose in court ended up, well, they left town and they never tried to collect their lawsuit money. And anyway, bottom line is the government has your information and you're an idiot if you post anything besides like cat videos and other things like that. Anything political, they probably have a full file. I'm sure the state government went through my entire account and we're looking for everything. Actually, they did because one of the questions that uh, that they asked me had nothing to do with the reason that they were investigating me to begin with. That makes sense. Um, so they were probably looking for everything. Here's the bottom line, guys. You investigate me, I'm going to remember it when I start campaigning. Yeah, because I'm going to run for office one day. And you're going to apologize to me and every other person like me if I end up winning. And I'm going to make sure... I'm going to do I'm going to do everything in my power to win if I decide to do that one day.